Yeah, let's just um, let's just uh, jump. The next update, I would really want to hit. Oh, but at the same time, I'm really really excited. Oh, it has bump. It's bumpy. Can you see that? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a Panda palette update on my Too Faced chocolate bar that I'm handing here in 2018. I have been really really loving this palette actually more than I thought and I made some really really great progress in one month I think and I can definitely see where in my shadows now. Um, not all of them but most of them. There are some shades that I really need to use and and some I just need to figure out how I want to use them basically because I have been panning two looks in January mostly one look that I did a get ready with me on here and I will link it in a corner here so let's just jump into the progress and let's see where I was last time compared to now. This is where I am at the moment and it is just the beginning of February but there haven't been like major changes in the first few days of uh, February. But this is where I am and I'm really really excited for this. I don't I will go through each shade um, and tell you a little about it and what I have been using it for and what my plans and goals are for that shadow. So how can I hold this and not blind you? So Gilded Ganache is a shade that I have played around with like one two times to see if I can make it work. I rewatched some of Letitia's um, tutorials about Gilded Ganache, how she is she, how she was going to make it work for her um, and it didn't work that well for me but I will keep trying and see if I can find a look that I love otherwise I will just try to repress it um, and then hopefully it will be more green that I can use in the fall time. For white chocolate I have used that every single time I do my makeup. I have cleaned around my it just here. I have set my eyelid primer from Barbone until the crease and then um, set the eyelid with another shade. That has a very great dip in it, but it does have some hot pan right here. The ganache has some hot pan as well in the middle, so I don't know if that is like a cause or something. Milk Chocolate is a shade I have used every single time I have done my makeup. So that shade has a huge dent in it and I'm so excited about that. It is a shade that can very quickly be too dark for me. I do mix it with strawberry bonbon to not, so it's not that dark for me. Black Forest Truffle is a shade just like Golden Ganache that I have tried to make work for me and try to play around with, but haven't, okay, I can make a dark smoky eye with it, but that's about it right now. Triple Fudge, I have used like an eyeliner once, I think. So, no. You can, say, you can see that I have been like using it, but nothing major at all. Stall the Camel, I have used um, not a ton, but the last week or so with this look I have uh, on right now, I have put it in my crease or to blend the shadows out uh, after I have applied my lid shade. Marzipan is a shade that I love together with Salt and Caramel especially, but it has a small dent, but I'm going to save that shadow for later, um, because that will be no problem to hit pan on or anything. So um, marzipan is definitely a shade that I really love. I have used it once or twice this month. Semi Sweet, I have used it every single time I have done my makeup in my outer corner. You can see 
at least I can see, the small, smallest dent I have made in that shadow. It's hardly pressed in there. Oh my god. And then Strawberry Bonbon. Bon. It has a huge dent and I'm very excited. I have it in a project that I want to hit pen on it by March or something and I can definitely do that if I just use it every single time I do my makeup. So I'm very excited about that one and you can see some brown in it just because I have used it with my chocolate that much. Candied Violet I have used a few times on my lower lash line. It does lean very dark purple when I do that. It's okay, I can make it work. Um, I'm not mad at it yet. Amaretto is the new shade that I am going to focus on. I have it on my eyelids right now um, as a lip shade on top of my color 2 from Maybelline. I really, really love that shade on top of this color 2 because it makes it more like burgundy, kind of. <laughs> but I really, really love that shade. Actually, compared with a um, a cream shadow because on its own it's just muddy so but i love my cream shadows and i always wear cream shadows so i don't see it as a problem actually and this one is hazelnut i have used that once without anything and that turned out very taupe colored um and I think I used either that shade or hot chocolate on top of my uh, color tier once or twice. Um, I can't really remember. Then we have Crime Bully. Can you see? I think you can see it there. I have pan in Crime Bully. I'm so excited about this. Before this project, I actually was having a love-hate relationship with that shade. It is so pretty and on its own it's just very blah but on top of my color 2 on and on bone from Maybelline it is beautiful. So I just stuck with it and I hit pen on my first shade and in my notebook I wrote down like the 24th of January. Yeah, I hit pen on that one. So I have used that shade for like the at least 13 days, maybe 14 days. Um, so that is quite impressive actually to have pen on a shade that fast. It had the smallest dip, the smallest dip. But because that went so fast, I think I can hit pen on Amaretto by next update. I really, really hope so. But yeah, I have been using this every single day and I am so excited. So that is the shade I did my Get Ready With Me on. So it, right now the shade is done because I hit pan on it. Um, I would really want to hit pan on all of the shades before I make any commitment to use shades up. Unless it's like one of the matte shades, you know. Then we have hot chocolate, as I just said before. I haven't used it that much, maybe once or twice, I can't remember. Cherry Cordial is a shade that I'm using with Amoretto right now in my outer corner. I have used it with the gold shade as well a few times, so I will really like that combo as well. So if I wanted to pan Crampoli, I can use either Semi Sweet or Cherry Cordial in the outer corner. That's great. And then Champagne Truffle I have used as a highlight, as you can see, on top of my high beam from Benefit. And I have used it in my inner corner as well. And I have actually layered it on top of my color 2 as well um, a few times. It was a bit chunky, <laughs> but I think my color 2 is like drying out as well. So, Champagne Truffle has a dip and I don't know if you can see it. Otherwise, I will do a close-up anyway. For next update, I would really love to hit pan on milk chocolate and I really want to hit pan on strawberry bonbon as well um, so I think I can do that and then hopefully I can hit pan on amaretto it will be so cool if I can hit pan on a shimmer shade every single month um, yeah that will be so cool I have also tried to pair amaretto and champagne truffle together that looked okay so I think I can get through it um, and not getting that bored with it. I didn't get bored with Crampoli actually for an everyday look. Sometimes I would want it to change it up and then 
I used marzipan, so... But I didn't get that bored. Um, but I'm really, really excited about my progress. Um, I think I'm doing quite well. If you think about it, it is the chocolate bar that I am panning. So, it is tough and it is somewhat not very motivating to see some shadows not going anywhere. At the same time, it is very, very motivating to see some really, really great dips in this palette. So I'm very excited. So I hope you enjoyed this update. I hope you will follow along my progress and, uh, and that you are excited for my next update just as much as I am. I'm really, really excited to see where I'm going with this palette because it has been so much fun to explore and um, just yeah it has been a very great everyday work palette for yeah you know um for the more neutral looks and as well as a bit of color and um you can do a lot of a lot with this palette you really can so i hope you enjoyed this update i hope you will stick around so subscribe to the channel down below i will have my intro linked if you haven't seen it yet and yeah please take care until my next video and then i hope i will see you there bye guys